Third time is a charm. This is my third time recording this. Action. Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and welcome to 2023, the Mark Boudelier Show. It's gonna be great. If you are new here, hi, welcome, subscribe, get on Get on the channel while you can before we go absolutely crazy. We're hanging up the plaque this year for sure. Today we're going to be talking about the best and worst fashion trend predictions for 2023. I realize it is over halfway through the month, so we are super late on this. Hopefully the algorithm doesn't fuck me in the ass. If you're in my Discord, you already know that I asked about a week ago to send in your best trend predictions. You guys did that. I picked out a handful, we're gonna go through them, we're gonna talk about, you know, the best and worst ones, because I got a good mixture of both. Let's go ahead and jump into the first one, which is extra long pants, meaning longer inseams, I suppose. I don't think we're talking about the stacked jean trend, I think it's safe to say that that's pretty much out, but I do kind of agree with this one, as I have personally been gravitating towards longer inseams myself sort of having like trousers puddle over shoes and boots that was something that was actually in an article recently i forget what the article was who wrote it etc but it's something i just randomly saw i think a lot of people are kind of experimenting with this we were all sort of wearing like either the cropped or like the right like just the normal break on shoes so i think people are kind of ready for something new and that's something that everybody can easily participate in without having to like invest too much into it i definitely think that's a good one it's not one that we're going to really be able to pinpoint as something that's super trendy because unless people are like over exaggerating it with like 38 inch inseams, like chances are it's going to be hard to like notice it. I think it's something interesting to, to look out for. Next up we have checkered clothing and I'm going to go ahead and say that this is on the list of the worst because this is most assuredly already trending. We've seen brands like Stussy with their latest like checkered fleece, we've seen the Sunday's beanies, we've seen like the Sanji fleece, and like this isn't like a bad trend, this isn't me saying like oh this shit sucks, but it's something that already exists, it's something that we've seen time and time again over the years, it's out there, it's, it's not new, this has been trending, maybe it's not even a trend at this point, maybe that's just a classic pattern and it's just, you know, reinvents itself each year. Next on the list we have five finger shoes, obviously Balenciaga kind of dabbled in this, but I feel like that was not one of their shoes that was like the most popular but nevertheless it was still you know it existed they're the most popular like designer brand in the world right now so there's that but i do feel like there's a lot of popular shoes out there that are just kind of boring kind of basic obviously new balance 550s sambas nike dunks all these shoes are to put it simply shaped like potatoes I think people are going to start to look at more interesting footwear options, whether that's sneakers, whether that's like clogs, more out there mules, etc. I think people are just going to like kind of explore their options a little bit more, if that makes sense. Next up, we have cargo pants will die. And again, this is going to have to go on that worst list because... Cargo pants have just been popular now. It seems like five years maybe, and even before that, it kind of cycled in and out. At one point, yeah, they were like the laughing stock of the fashion scene, like, but that was when were wearing like skinny tapered suit pants that were like mega cropped. So if that tells you anything, I just don't think that they're gonna die. I feel like we've seen too many different iterations over the years. People who are in the sort of avant-garde scene, people that are in like the vintage world, everything in between. People just wear cargo pants now, and that's just a thing. There's different styles of them. It's a classic. Next up, we have mesh football jerseys. My homie Julian, he's been rocking these. I guess sort of like the practice uniforms, the ones that typically have like a ribbing towards the bottom and kind of cinch a little bit. A lot of times they'll have like a graphic and be like a v-neck. I feel like other people were probably already wearing these, but I don't want to dismiss this one because I think when spring summer rolls around, that will be something that's accessible at thrifts. People can participate in this on a relatively easy basis. And if other brands take note of that and start making their own ones, that's when you know it's, you know, really moved into like the major, major trend. Moving on, we have Onitsuka Tigers. 
I'm pretty sure they're owned by ASICs. I am like 99% sure. They're pretty similar looking to Sambos, to be completely honest. They're like the soccer shoe vibe. And yeah, maybe we see that again in the spring summer, but not really a hot take. I'm sure people were wearing them last spring summer and people who just didn't want to jump on the Samba wave, but wanted something similar. So yeah, maybe, you know, it's kind of just like whatever. Next up we have camo and I kind of threw this one in there myself. I watched Karsten Croning, Croning, Croning. I watched Karsten's YouTube video, but he talked about camo and how he thought different styles of camo would be popular this year. And I agree. I mean, I'm wearing this camo right now. I also recently picked up like a 70s, more like faded hunting camo type of thing. So again, I'm gravitating towards it and I know I'm not the only one that's doing so. There's so many different styles of camos that I feel like there's always one that's kind of in the spotlight, but I think this year is gonna, we're gonna see more of them sort of enter the space. Not like a super hot take because in a sense you could argue that camo is timeless and that there's always a style of camo that's in trend, but yeah. Next up, we have Logo Mania slash just graphics. I threw this one in there as just like shot in the dark, just, you know, complete opposite of what we're currently at. Cause like currently in fashion, we're seeing a lot of basics. We're seeing a lot of like the silhouettes and proportions that are starting up these brands and just releasing like a normal ass cropped hoodie with nothing on it. Uh, same thing with like t-shirts, etc. And you know, some of them have been really, really solid. Nevertheless, when so many people are jumping on this and doing the exact same thing, people get hungry for other stuff. And I think that's where graphics come into play. I don't think we're gonna see full on 2017 resurgence of logos like in this year but i do think people are going to start you know maybe building from the ground up in terms of the graphic design instead of just clipping random bs y2k graphics from online uh, i think we might also start to see like a little bit of logo action going on a brand that i really like samuel zelig they kind of have done like a bunch of like embroidered graphics on hoodies and sweatshirts and i feel like that's a great sort of medium between you know, the basic sort of vintage style and like graphics. Next we have neon. I feel like I've started to wear neon like color pops again, whether it be like my pink BBS Solomon shoes or my bright pink Our Legacy pants. Other people are obviously doing this too. I feel like it's more popular in like women's wear, especially like the Y2K scene, but um, I think other people might start to participate in this and maybe we even start seeing people wearing like predominantly neon fits. I don't know, but wanted to throw that in there. Lastly, we have AI fashion design. I don't know anything about this, to be honest. I know it's a thing. I know people have been talking about it, but I've just chosen not to really read into it because frankly, it sounds pretty shit, but maybe it's not. Maybe I need to give it a chance. Y'all let me know what you think of that in the comments, what your side is, what you think of it, what it even is. I don't know. You guys tell me, but that is it. That's all of them. If you stayed the entire time, thank you. And until the next video, which by the way, I'm about to go to Paris literally tomorrow. So the next video is gonna be a Paris vlog slash pickups. You won't wanna miss it. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it.